You ever been driving along the highway and seen a track lead off into the wild? You ever wonder where it leads? G'day, I'm Mad Matt. I love how that kid is peering out the window, looking down a track and wondering where does it go? And when I saw that teaser, it's what got me intrigued as to what the next Baz Luhrmann's going to do. Now today, I've gone and got hold of Jonathan Adams, and I've brought him to my campfire to tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this next four-wheel drive movie that's coming called Rough Stuff. Welcome, Jonathan. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for having me. Mate, where did this inspiration for a four-wheel drive-based movie come from? Well, I think you just hit the nail on the head with uh, with your description. That the kid in that scene really, I think, is is me. Uh, you know, probably twenty years ago, yes. uh, going on holidays with my own family and and seeing those tracks go by and always wondering what's down there, what kind of adventures could we could we get lost in. So tell me about the story for Rough Stuff. Well, the story is really the most important thing uh, for me. So if if the the action and the adventure in it doesn't mean something then it's just not as exciting so really I wanted to tell a, a good old-fashioned story with, with great characters. The story is really about a character named Buzz and uh, Buzz is what we call a rover and a rovers are these uh, these kind of outback adventurers kind of have no no master you know will no home no home will work for you know they'll, they'll just take odd jobs here and there and and scrape by um, just so they can keep the adventure keep the adventure rolling on. And um, Buzz has really found himself in a, in, a, in a situation where he owes some debts to some bad people. And uh, there's a very, uh, very famous bounty hunter uh, hot on his heels come to collect on those old debts. So Bud, Buzz needs some cash really fast if he's, uh, he's going to get out of this situation. And um, a lifeline comes along just at the right, just at the last moment where this, uh, this, this team of American documentary filmmakers actually want to to go to the far end of this impenetrable valley, it's called the Mamuya Valley, um, and it's it's just it's like an uncharted territory, and there's there's no known tracks through it, and uh, they come along and say, look, can you get us through this Mamuya Valley in a couple of days? And if you can, we'll give you this map that leads to Stray's Gold. Now they may or may not know, but Buzz has actually been looking for Stray's Gold for years. It's kind of his okay. lifelong lifelong mission has been to find this gold and set himself up forever and uh, so Buzz really latches onto that opportunity and agrees he'll take them across the Mamuya Valley um, he'll find him, find a way through and uh, and that's what the story, that's really the setup of the story Buzz has a crew uh, that he works with, two other guys, uh, Scraps and Abe and um, the documentary team, they actually team up, he sees the opportunity there and, and they actually team up on this journey and it creates an opportunity for two very different groups of people to come together. Yeah, so I'm thinking there's going to be some tension there, there is between of, the greenies, the four-wheel drivers, there and is a bit know, of tension access there. for all, all of that. And I was aware from the beginning when I first had this idea that, that there was a kind of, uh, that, that there was a, some internal discussion in the four-wheel drive world about, you know, environmentalism Absolutely. versus four-wheel driving. It's a political sort of a hot topic. And I wanted to get ahead of that and make it that sort of a part of the, the fabric of the story.